Hey everybody, I have a welder for you. This is a uh, uh, from Harbor Freight. Now it's a 230 volt welder. You can see on their 230 volt tools they don't put any plugs. Uh, this does have the grounding clamp and it's got the nozzle on the back for the air tank. It does need the consumables. There's no spool of wire in here, I believe. I think you need to add the spool. It does come with the nozzles. Uh, it has been used. Retail price on this, Harbor Freight sells a brand new one for $600. Call and give me a bid on that item. Okay, on the table I have a charger. This is a uh, charger for rechargeable batteries. It'll do double A and triple A, and it has a cigarette lighter adapter so that you can plug that into a cigarette lighter um, and charge, uh, charge batteries from your cigarette lighter. And behind that, I have an electric chainsaw sharpener. Now, this is out of the box. There's no blade on it. Retail price on this, wow, that's cheap, 29 bucks. I know we've had, I thought we've had some that were more than that. Now, above that, I've got this 12-ton hydraulic pipe bender. I know it's heavy. <laughs> a 12-ton hydraulic bender. I know it's heavy, but eventually we're going to have to bite the bullet. Uh, it retails for 99 bucks, and it's got the piston here in the center. Call and give me a bid on that. Oh, there's a nice item up there by Martha Stewart every day. It's about a, it's a big clock. It's got like a brown finish, gold trim, 18 inch diameter clock. Now, it's not working right now. I don't have a battery in it, probably. It's got Arabic numerals. You can see the time from way across the room, or maybe even from the backyard. Colin, give me a bid on that item. Any idea of the retail on that? I would believe $40, maybe more. Some of these big clocks are 100 Martha Stewart every day. Colin, give me a bid. Okay, next to that, I've got a pair of porch lights. Now, these are the... I call them an arts and crafts style porch lights. light. They have that roof design. Here we have even the, the little screws in there look like they're hand hammered nails. It's got an alabaster style white shade. Another really nice feature of this, you can just tell the quality craftsmanship of this. This is a great uh, porch light. I want you to notice the whole back of this is cast iron. It's a heavy duty fixture, solid. Uh, it'll provide a lot of protection. It'd be good for a a porch light. You're going to get two of them for one money. They retail for $50 a piece. That's $100 worth. I've got a case for a Microsoft Zoom. This is by Belkin and it retails for $15. Below that I've got some water glasses and these are in like a cut crystal design and you're going to get all three for one money. Call and give me a bid on that item. Now on the table I have a code reader. This plugs into your dashboard under your car and it reads the uh, various codes, diagnoses your car essentially, tells you every little thing that's wrong with it. Uh, you look the code up on a disk. I, I uh, can burn you a copy of all the codes for this code reader. Retail price at Harbor Freight is 39 bucks. I've got a trailer tongue. This, now this is one that comes off of one of Harbor Freight's trailers. This is not actually like a universal one, but it does come, actually it's a universal one with a, a, a bracket added to that a receiver added to that and uh, that's not really an item they sell separately like I said that's the tongue off of a one of Harbor Freight's trailers that you'd buy for four or five hundred dollars uh, call and give me a bid on that well that's all ten items on this table it is now time to go to the bidder board and see what the high bids are on this live televised auction